you know mine. Okay, wait for looks like the iPod's rebooting. And more junk. And going, going, going. Okay, and it looks like the iPod's restarting again. And like iPod Touch Masters, this is the hard jailbreak, not a soft upgrade. And the reason I like this method better than iPod Touch Masters is A, it works with 16 gig and 32 gigs. And B, it's um, with Xiphone, which is what iPod Touch Master uses. Okay, once you get to this screen, click over here, make sure it says ready. And if it does, you can just X out of it. And hit, you sure you want to quit? Yes, I'm sure. Now, X out of this thing, this iTunes is yelling at you. And go to the iPod. You probably mine just went to sleep. And you're going to slide to unlock. And voila. There's installer. You're jailbroken. And hooray. And oh crud, my battery's about to die. So this was a good stopping part point. So I'm going to just at this point just like I'm gonna turn off my iPod and charge my camera. And I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna come back as soon as my stupid battery gets charged. So I will see you in a bit. And probably a good idea to turn your iPod off too. That's what I like to do after I jailbreak. Just turn your iPod off and then turn it back on if you want, but whatever. I will see you in a little bit. Alrighty, I'm back. Hopefully my stupid camera will hold its charge this time. Okay, so now I'm going to turn my iPod back on. Okay. It might take a while just because, like, I just jailbroke. It needs to get used to it. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is a weird glitch. I don't know why this happens, but whenever you turn on, it's not going to take you, like, into the menu like it does normally. When you first turn on your iPod, it takes you to the slide to unlock screen. I'm not sure why. It just does. So let me slide to unlock. Okay. So, there's your, our, my iPod. Now, iTunes is currently not recognizing it. So I'm just going to... Yeah, I keep pushing the button. Okay, plug. And... Ah! There was the issue with putting... You won't drop your camera thing around your wrist strap. Okay. Buzz. And iTunes. And we wait. And again, my computer's really slow, so I'm probably gonna take a little bit. Just to figure out that there's an iPod attached. And hold on. Let me exit out of iTunes. What? Okay, this just pulled up. iLiberty. Oh, that explains why iTunes wasn't working. Okay, yeah. iLiberty, like, iTunes doesn't work while iLiberty's up, and iLiberty's yelling at me to update. Well, I can't really update. I just finished, so whatever. I'm just gonna cancel. The update is not finished. Yes, I would love to abort. Okay, so by the time you actually watch this video, I guess you'll have the update version. I don't know if it's probably gonna be a similar process. Okay, so I'm going to boot up iTunes again. And... Stop uh, falling asleep, you stupid thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, more. Okay. Um, reasons I know I can't take my iPod. And I'll let me unplug again. There you go. If it's not picking up your iPod, just um turn off. And then once it's off, which is now, just plug it in and with it off. And it should automatically turn itself on. Wait some more. Annoying, but whatever. Just wait for it. Okay. 
go. Computer buzz, so hopefully it's gonna recognize. Bipod. Oh, come on, use the computer. Alright. Don't know why it's not working right now. So what I'm going to do is just I'm gonna turn off the camera, figure out how to make it recognize your iPod. This has never happened before. So I'm just gonna figure out how to make it work and I'll come back and tell you how to do it. Okay, so as you can see, iTunes is now recognizing my iPod. All you I had to do was just turn off my iPod and then restart the computer. And then don't touch anything while it's restarting. Once your computer turns back on, your iPod should automatically turn on. And then just log into whatever account you're on and then just wait and all of a sudden iTunes just like pulled up with my iPod hooked in. So, there you go. So now we're successfully connected into iTunes, which is good. And now, a lot of you were complaining about keyboarding problems on iPod Touch Masters and basically any 1.1.4 jailbreak. Even this one with iLiberty, for reasons unknown, the keyboard likes to explode. So, I'm going to show you how to fix that now. First, eject your iPod. Yeah, we just went through all that trying to get iTunes to see it, and now we're going to make it does not see it. So leave it hooked into your cable, just because it's a good idea to make sure your battery doesn't run out. Okay, so you hit contacts, go into contacts, make sure you haven't done anything previously before this. Then you hit plus, tap first, last name, and now what you got to do is just type random gibberish for 10 seconds. Count slowly because if you do less than 10 seconds, you're in trouble. It's just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so now after 10 seconds are up, it'll be tempting to hit the home button. Don't hit the home button. Go to the upper left hand corner and hit cancel, and then hit cancel again. Now once you're back to this screen, you can hit the home button. Okay. Next, you're going to open up Installer. Just hit the little Installer icon. And just occurred to me that I'm not connected to Wi-Fi. So, just, this whole thing's going to pull up. It might not on yours, so I'm just going to show you. Okay, yada yada. Okay, yes, couldn't refresh sources. Okay, go into Settings. Tap Wi-Fi. And yes, you have to have Wi-Fi to make your keyboard not explode. Eh, don't hit the little blue button, which I accidentally did. Just tap. Okay, now I'm not going to show you my password. Hold on. Okay, and I'm in. So now go back into installer. Now this is just a kind of, it's an annoying bug with installer. And it basically is just you can't install anything. Like, well, what we're going to do to make it work is we're going to install BSD subsystems. And if we scroll down to it and click it, got install, nothing's going to happen. It's going to say package download failed. Now, I don't know why it does this, but here's what you're going to do go to uninstall, tap community sources, and then hit uninstall and then hit clear queue now hit uninstall again and this time actually uninstall it uninstall wait for it to do its thing, okay then X out or home out I guess, respring okay now go back into installer and hit install Scroll down to Sources and reinstall Community Sources. And as you can see, it was able to install that time, which means that everything's working. I don't know why it does that, but you have to uninstall Community Sources. Okay, it's going to refresh your sources. Now it's got all these wonderful sources of happiness. Okay, and we're in. Okay, so now that you got that going. Now you're going to go to all packages. And I don't know if you know what folder it's under. Knock yourself out. I don't. I'm just going to go all packages. Go down, 